hello 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 welcome to my channel once again once again today Charlie today today is one of the saddest days of my life man as a Ghanaian I'm telling you because I don't know how to even feel right now it's crazy I'm very sure most of you have seen Michael Blackson's tweets that is going up and down social media everybody talking about and it's trending man this is one of the craziest things that i've ever had you know this thing was it happened some time ago actually and we had haircuts 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 in the country and because most of these people are not, are not like um, coming out to say it on social media and perhaps they are not that popular enough for their grievances to be heard by many see a lot a lot is happening in the country a lot is happening in the country and it's just crazy and to be honest i feel like this time around eh, people that are supposed to be held accountable they must be held accountable like any new government that comes should hold these people accountable because to be honest with you we can never live or build a nation like this damn see what what people are going through imagine your pension is even affected not just the, the euro bond too euro bond is something safe something that should be like the safest for people but in ghana and under this particular government it has become a fiasco see what michael blackson is tweeting on like on twitter and saying all the things that is it's not a joke one million dollars that's like 16 million ghana cities that's a lot of money investing that money in euro bonds thinking that okay I came back to my homeland to come and build a school. We like we all know the school in Agona in Sabah. Nobody funded him. And he's even saying they are even charging him for building that facility. They are even charging him, not thinking that it's charity. They are still charging him. The country is charging him for building that structure or the school. They are charging him. That aside, now he is looking for funding maybe he's not getting the funding from people people should support maybe people are not supporting like they should so i have one million dollars i have put this money in euro bonds for it to mature if it matures i will get 10 percent. i think annually i don't know i must check annually or something and if it matures and i get that 10 percent, i will use that 10 percent, and that's we are talking about hundred thousand dollars to do what to fund the school every year this is what he is doing for his home country for his home country oh, and politicians politicians will just mismanage the country's money or funds or whatever and at the end of the day after they mess up they go in for people's pensions and their euro bonds and their investments their hard earned money so oh, that that's the money you are going to use to pay or to repay your loan so that see see somebody must be held accountable trust me somebody must be held accountable because this is a very very great dent on the image of ghana i'm telling you and it's it will affect any type of investment that anybody wants to come into this country and come and invest i'm telling you they will think thrice not twice they would think thrice not twice because to be honest how can i get my money thinking that okay i'm coming to put my money here for it to mature i will get this the government and now just look at what they are telling him if he wants to get all the money instead of the 10 percent, they are going to give him one point something percent and if he doesn't want that too they are going to do the haircut thing deduct i think about 30 something percent and every, I think every year or something, they are going to give him, I think 15% or something of the 600 and something thousand dollars that is left. See, people, this is one thing I don't like. People, some of these stuffs are serious stuffs. But you will get some people using this as politics, a point for them to do their political whatever. This is not a time. The country is drowning. The country, Ghana, is drowning. Deep. We should wake up. Trust me, the country, Ghana, is drowning. See, there are certain things that sometimes 
it baffles me i don't understand you have politicians who are supposed to they make it seem like governing a country it's so difficult that even they they themselves they are like educated or some of them have their masters their phds they've gone to school abroad they know but i don't know why ghana politicians see anybody that will come under this post and come and comment any political whatever this is not for politics and i understand some people using this as because what i learned was some months ago or some time ago michael blackson himself came on twitter and tweeted something about john dramani mahama talking about he wants a second term why does he want a second term i will show you all the why does he want a second term and the people didn't like you that's why they voted you out or something a tweet like that so people are dragging him you see if you are in a, an investor you come from abroad whether you are Ghanaian or whatever, never involve yourself, not, like never involve yourself in politics. We all have seen what has happened to Asamojan. Asamojan was like into MPP, going everywhere with them and all that. But today, he came online to come and write that he has misled the youth of Ghana and he doesn't want to have anything to do with any political party now. So he's coming to focus on his philanthropic, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, it's a good thing. Let's say that same day in the evening, then Kevin Taylor also came out with evidence that he is not quitting any political whatever from MPP or I don't even know how to even put it. <laughs> he's not quitting the party or he's not quitting politics because of whatever, but he has been duped. The MP. <laughs> hey, Lord, Lord, Lord. He has been duped by these same political parties that they follow. I personally have seen video, a video of Asamojan uh, trying to slap or hit somebody. I don't know the man. I learned it's one of the MPP. I don't know whether he's a candidate or whatever. He's a minister or something. It's brother. And this is what is happening. All these people, don't involve yourself in politics. Politics, man, see, right now, Michael Blackson is being dragged on Twitter. For that, I don't know when he made that particular post, but he's being dragged and people are saying he deserves it. On the screen, I'll be sh like showing you screenshots of some of the comments. See, people are fed up. People are fed up. But as I said, we should not play politics with some of these things because it's very serious. This is something serious. Imagine you, you are investing your money in euro bonds, thinking it is the safest in Ghana. My question is, right now, eh, this particular tweet, that it's like a series of tweets oh, that Michael Blackson was like back to back. Even this morning, like one hour ago, I saw a tweet from him. He's like back to back saying every like, and definitely it is not only michael blackson it's a lot of people i'm very sure some of these african americans that came into the country they also decided or maybe he convinced some of them to even invest in the country now definitely they are going to come for him because you convinced us now look at what is happening that's why perhaps he is on social media just ranting and tweeting saying everything like he like he doesn't care what happens and this is crazy I remember, see, pensioners, they are pensions. Every, everything is going, going down the drain. So perhaps if you are a pensioner and perhaps you are supposed to receive, let's say, 100,000 Ghana cities, you are going to receive a haircut. So you are going to receive like 50,000 or 60,000 like 60, Ghana cities. What kind of a country are we living in? We should wake up Ghana. We should stop this tribal politics and look for genuine people who really, truly love this country. We should vote for... I'm not talking about NDC. I'm not talking about MPP. I'm not talking about Cheddar. I'm not talking about PPP. I'm not talking about Eku and all this. We should look for genuine people. People who are like, who really love this country. Because when we continue voting for this NPP, NDC, whoever, whatever, trust me we are never going to see anything change in this country we should wake up we should wake up as Ghanaians. thank you for watching